Natasha. Today we're doing HIIT Yoga. This will be the fourth round of this style class. You seem to like that one the most, so I'm going to go with it. I've created eight more drills to do, so we do four drills, 45 seconds each, three minutes of work, and a minute rest in between. We are adding some back bending into the drills and some maybe hand standing. So you take them at your own level. If you're not there yet, you can always modify. And if you're feeling a little bit lost in the first 10, 15 seconds getting the drill, that's okay. You still are doing a good 30 seconds. And as you continue to repeat the drills or maybe even repeat the class, you'll get better and better and stronger. Okay, I'm gonna start you with a jog in place. So we're gonna get the heart rate to climb a bit. And then we'll do some stretching for the back. I'm gonna use a wall, but it's okay to do them right on your mat if you don't have a wall around you. Good, make sure you're relaxing through the toes and spreading them, landing lightly on the ball of the feet, drawing navel to spine, corseting the ribs in. So that's really active through the core to support the back. All right, so just a light jog here. Four, three, two, we'll do that crisscross jack. Open, close, crossing the arms and legs. Good, trying to alternate the one that you cross. Open, close. So we'll get that heart rate pumping. We'll do some stretches and we'll, I'll preview a couple of the drills and we'll get right into the timer. I'm hoping maybe you can see the timer today. I have my iPad down there, okay? We're breathing. If you don't want impact on the joints, you can always Bring the exercise down to a toe tap or just take out the jump in anything we do today, okay? Four, three, two, and one. And we got the toy soldiers. We'll do four up high today and four crisscrossing down low. Flat back, wake up the hamstrings. Engage the back body, engage the front body here and then the back body to lift you. Breathe, up, good. Twisting at the top, squeezing the belly in, twisting at the bottom, using those back muscles to draw you up. One more round. And down. Breathing, heart rate's coming up there. We're just gonna do a side to side lunge. So we will hit the skandasana in a flow. So let's go ahead and prep for that. Just tapping, you could tap across to the toe or right under. Okay, depending on how low you can get in that squat. Squeeze the belly, take it side, really getting the hips behind the knee. So it's like a single leg squat. Breathing, nice. And we got four, and three, two, and one. Let's curtsy or skate across the mat. So again, we're just trying to get the heart rate up, getting the muscles prepared, and the joints. Good, it could be a big step across, or you could really go for the jump. Nice work. Hang in there. Let's do four more. Four, three, two, and one. All right, we got our plank walk. We're gonna plank walk. We're gonna tap forward, tap back, and then jump. So today we're gonna try to lunge through to prep you for stepping through on, I think it's the first drill. Crawl, squeeze the belly, push the shoulders down, plank. Step, step, come back, jump or stand, come down, step all the way in between the hands if you can. You need that compression of the abdominals to do that and the protraction of the shoulders to create that space. One more. Let's stay here. Firm the belly, push the shoulders down. Squeeze, gaze at the top of your mat. Nice neutral neck and spine. Spread your fingers, grip the mat with all 10 fingers. Tuck the tail. Squeeze, down dog. Whew. We'll pedal here. 
drawing your chest towards your toes, your tailbone towards the sky. Nice. Four, three, two, one. Let's flip it into side sitting and then arcing. And we are doing an exercise that includes this down on the forearm. Good. And then come on back. Pedal. Breathe. Come up really articulating through the toes and the ball of the foot. And then let's spin. Good. And then side body stretch. Shoulder strength. Push down. Core strength. Pull up. And then come on back through. All right. I'm going to walk forward and just hang here for a couple of breaths. Forward fold, releasing tension in the neck, the spine, shake it out. And then really trying to increase the flexibility of the hamstrings by allowing gravity to take over. <sighs> and just get really heavy and relaxed here. You could move, sway, or find stillness. Couple deep breaths. We'll take a rag doll up the spine. All right, so I'm gonna use a wall here to do puppy pose. Feel free to do it on your mat. We're gonna bring the chest to the wall and try to sink the heart there. Breathe. I'll do a shoulder. So try to press the shoulder into the wall. You can try to bring the body forward. Maybe you try to reach the other arm around the back. Tap the wall. Nice, switch. So shoulder to wall. And then work on squaring your body. And then maybe reaching that opposite arm behind the back. If you can reach, you can touch the wall. Good. And then we'll try and do a standing back bend. So if you can't reach the wall behind you, just do it right here. Work on opening up through that upper body. Good. Or reach down and then try to lift the heart away. Maybe you walk down and you do that a few times. Crawl down. Squeeze the chest up so you're not just pressing into the low back. We have this nice, active, even bend. All right. All right. So drill one, we're going to do that step through we worked on. So we'll do one chaturanga or knee stretch gin. You'll step through. You'll spin back side to side. So reverse side angle and then spin right down and repeat the drill. Okay, um, the next one, we're gonna do chair, grab, standing big toe, flip it, dancer. They don't have to be like super beautiful. We're just gonna try and hit and find balance and strength. And then back, squat, big toe, dancer, lunge, squat. <laughs> okay, um, opposite toe tap. We're gonna try to lift, and then as you spin, the same leg is going to try to chaturanga and make a shelf for either a flying split or just a prep balance. So you have, tap your toe, bring that leg, and either try and fly or just prep, okay? Your call, you could try on a few, not try on a few. Um, since I'm going through the drills, I'll go ahead and go through the last one. So a camel, chest up. We're gonna sit off to the side, and just to keep it simple, we'll side plank to the same way. All right, come down. Camel, side, side sit, side plank. Hopefully you can see this today. And this is your 10 second countdown. Remember, we're starting with a plank. We step through, warrior two, go. Step one foot through, warrior two, reverse, side angle, reverse, side, and then go down and repeat. Chaturanga or knees, chest, chin. Other foot steps through, spin back, reverse, side, reverse, side. You gotta turn the core on so you don't lose balance. So you have your chaturanga, your step through, your open, reverse, side angle active, reverse, side angle, step back, chaturanga, step through, reverse, back, forward, 
forward, squeeze really heavy on the obliques, and down, step. Next drill, we're going squat, big toe, spin it back, dancer, catch your balance, it's okay to be falling, I am going to be too. Lunge, squat, big toe, find a balance, dancer, lunge, squat, switch, big toe, Woo. hopefully you're by a wall and you can grip on, back, forth, I'm not even going to redo this, I'm going to show you that I am wobbly too, forward, back, lunge, squat, forward, all right, we have our crab, so we're going opposite toe tap, flip, I'll just show you the prep, chaturanga prep, with that knee on the shelf, now, up, spin, fly in modify, or maybe you go for the whole balance, reset, toe, toe tap, I don't have a lot of room on this side anyway, so I'm going to do the prep, or maybe you try to float the leg just for a moment, go at your own pace, your own level, up, all right, we're doing our camel, so stretch, bring it over to the side, Squeeze the body to lift, side plank. You can arc, again, all the way up. Up, other way, side sit. You gotta be able to pull yourself up and then go into your side plank. Bring it in, camel, lift, sit, lift, bend, lift. Gorgeous, keep going and up, sit it over, use those abs, bring it over, and strong body, and rest. So take this minute to towel off, drink water, stretch, maybe take a moment to prep the wrists, flip them in different directions. We're on the hands a bit. Good, circle them and blink them. I'm going to get water. Okay, we're ready for round two. So now you might be a little more comfortable with the drills, more familiar. Let's push harder. Start in your plank. Chaturanga or knees, chest, chin, step through, spin back, reverse, side angle, reverse, side, right to the mat, switch, good, down, up, step through, spin it back, reverse, side angle, reverse, side angle, spin down, push the shoulders down, chaturanga, good, step, spin, back, active, Nice and strong through your center, then through your shoulders. Up, step through. Curve your back, reverse, side, reverse, side. Bring it down. Next, standing. Well, squat, balance, big toe, dancer, lunge, step your squat, switch. Big toe to dancer. You don't have to race through. Lunge, squat. But it also doesn't have to be your fullest expression since we're trying to just keep the heart rate up. Okay, big toe. And maybe you keep the knees bent. How far can you go in these? All right, we got our crab. Come on down carefully. Tap your toe, spin your body, and then prep for Ekapada Kundinyasana too. Spin your body, that's a big word. Tap, and then prep, or maybe you 
fly into the balance. With control, nice, take it up, oops, up, you gotta remember which leg, and then fly, or not fly, good, tap, keep that leg up, and find your shelf, Whew. switch, tap, spin, oh, get to stay on the knees, we have our Camel, side sit, side plank. Good, a lot of oblique work. So, stretch the back, open the heart. Sit off to the side. You gotta be able to get back up. Side plank. Bring it back gently, using the shoulders. We're not slamming on the knee. Over, squeeze, nice. Lift, camel, same side you sit, you side plank, and bring it down, camel, ah, oh. heart rate's really high, get up and walk around, drink your water, grab a towel, your break. While you're recovering, I'm going to quickly preview the next four drills. So, warrior three. Balance, we're gonna take a big step. So turn your foot and land into Skandasana. You don't have to come that low. Switch. Warrior three, maybe you just go to this half and then you gotta get the power in the legs to push yourself back. Forearm dips. You keep one leg, top leg up, and we're gonna lift and lower. You're gonna feel that in the obliques, a lot of side body today. Then we'll unwind our then we'll untangle our feet and go from low to high boat, if you can. The top foot crosses over, you can hold it or not, and we try to lift the hips. Oh, I'm sweaty. Drill three, we're gonna try to go for a boat pose. Be safe since we're working pretty quickly. Just find the place where you're engaging the back. It doesn't have to be fullest expression. And then twist tuck to the opposite knee, okay? And then the last one is the fun one. You have options. You could try to plow to boat, or if you're into, if you're able to get onto your feet from plow and you have a handstand practice or you just like to play upside down, it could look like plow, jump up. And you don't have to hold that, okay? Let's do this. Here is your 10 second countdown. Remember we're going warrior three, give yourself space to step back. Go. Warrior three, skandasana to the top. Warrior three, you might fall out. Do the best you can. The falling out of things is just your muscles trying to stabilize and you losing it, but you're still working. You're still getting the benefit of trying, going through the exercise. Heart rate's up there because we're pushing using those big muscles of the legs. So warrior three, big step, open up the foot, step back. Warrior three, side as deep as you want to take that. Warrior three, catch your balance. Skandasana. All right, come down to the forearm. So be safe. We're gonna hip, lift, lower. Forearm pressing down, elbow and shoulder active. Unwind, low, high, low, high. Now the top leg crosses and we go up. So count four of these and then two in between. Low, high, low, high. Flip, set yourself up, dip, squeeze, push the hips up, press the shoulder down, low, high, low, high, and then top leg, up, up, squeeze, next drill, turn it over, bow, grab, press, press the earth away, twisting tuck. Go for the elbow. Bend, kick, press, twist. 
slow release. Bend, kick, hands, go for the twisting tuck. In, up, down. Hands push the earth away from the shoulders. Core is active. Tuck, fly, release, push, twisting tuck. Woo! All right, last one. Be safe on the neck. If you have any issues, you don't have to take it there. You can stay in a tuck. You could shoot for the full handstand, kicking the legs up and down. Whatever you have in your practice, or again, the modification could be here. Trying to catch the V sit. Still hard. Breathing heavy. Heart rate's pumping. Walk it out, drink water, towel off, one minute, whatever you need to do. Shoulders working pretty hard there, so maybe you give me a chest expansion shoulder stretch. Okay, I'm going to do this one more time with you. I've said this before, but when I teach a class, I do these drills three times through. So maybe you wanna try it that way. And the first round could be like your practice round. And as you get familiar and stronger, round two and three could be where you really push. These are high intensity intervals. So you're working really as hard as you can within you know, the boundaries of form and being safe. Warrior three, Skandasana. Warrior three, hit the balance. And then big step charge. Warrior three, Skandasana, big step. Big arms will help keep that heart rate higher, so maybe you reach the arms over the head. Balance, turn your hips to the side, come back to the top. Balance, good. Big step, butt behind hips, or butt behind knees, so hips sit back in your chair, and then to the top. Good. Back in your chair, and then squeeze to the top. Our forearm, side forearm plank comes up next. So, however you can get down there safely, top leg, you can hold it, or just lift the arm four times, engaging the side body and shoulder. Unwind, low, high, low, high. Top leg, reset on the forearm, and then lift, lift. Find a nice pace, engage the muscles. Low, high. You could do this with bent knees if you need to. Up, and make it a half boat. Squeeze, squeeze, unwind. Low, high, low, high. You don't have to work at my pace. Up, up, that's the beauty of the time drills. You pick on your belly. Get there as quick as you can, we have. Bow, back engagement, and then core twist, lower. Bend, press, bend, twist. See if you can go for the elbow. Good, you might kind of snake up if you need to modify. It's okay. If you can, if you're strong enough, we're pressing up in a straight line and then twisting the tuck. Whew. Yeah, a lot of strength on this one. All right, we flip again. That's part of the work. So plow, shoot up. Maybe you catch some air, maybe you don't. Just be mindful of the neck and plow. Keep going. You can remember the modification would be maybe just to practice this, or maybe you practice just trying to come on the feet. Okay, so a lot of options, but if you can, we'll try to jump up to the hands, because that's so fun. Heart rate should be flying on that 
big movement as well. Awesome work, you guys. I'm trying to come down. <laughs> a quick stretch, and you can rewind the video if you're gonna go back and do each round again. If not, let's take an active downward facing dog. Deep breathing. Then we're gonna round the spine as you flow forward to plank and then swish the tailbone back to down dog. Those spinal undulations in your down dog plank back to down dog. Lift up the right leg. Let's roll open the hip, bend the knee, stack the hip. And then if you'd like, you could fall or flip over into your wild thing pose and come on back around and we'll take pigeon pose here, opening up the hip. We'll take a bind behind the back if that's accessible to open up the chest, stretch the shoulders at the same time as the hips and then press back up and step outside of the hand to lizard lunge. You could grab the back foot if you'd like, spin the shoulders to stack or just focus on opening up the hip there. Power up the back leg and then step back. Now the left leg, up, bend the knee, open stack the hip. Maybe you flip over into your wild thing, chest proudly up to sky, and then flip back around to pigeon pose, squaring the hips, and then binding the hands behind the back. Only if that works, works for you. Good, we'll push out of it and step to the outside of the hand for your lizard lunge, and then you have options maybe an extra quad stretch by grabbing the back leg, or just focus on opening up through that left hip and external rotation. Power up the back leg, step the foot back and down. Bringing it onto the knees for some cat cow here. Inhaling and exhaling, child's pose. Bring the arms back and just take some breaths here. You worked really hard, I awesome am job. definitely sweating. That was a killer workout, it was definitely a hard one. So just know that if you do it over again, you'll be a little more familiar with the drills. You'll be able to push a little harder. And I hope you enjoyed that class. Let me know if you want me to continue this series and I'll keep creating more yoga drills or if there's something else you want to see. Thank you so much for joining me. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like this video and leave me a comment if you did it. Okay, I'll see you next time.